boys, does it get any better than OSTAP? OSTAP. And where are you, OSTAP? Come on, where you got your name at? OSTAP L Design. This one is the G frame, by the way. God, how many? I mean, he's doing some with Wii knives now. He's done a lot with real steel. Who else? I mean, like, I know I've seen him, what, Kaiser? Uh, wherever. Uh, Cansept? Uh, whatever. Yeah. He's, he's all over the place. And he's a custom knife maker. Okay. So, uh, and I met him at Atlanta Blade Show 2022. I got to meet him. He way cool. He came all the way from Poland. I go, yeah, well, I'll bet that was a flight, dude. I thought it was bad flying up from Florida, but uh, nah. So, but this is the G-frame. You know, this was kind of a puzzlement to me because this is N690 steel, of course. And so this is, you know, not like the G-slip, which was, you know, a slip joint knife, right? But this one is a frame lock, so if you prefer a frame lock, you're going there and look at the lockup. That is, boo! Maybe that's 50% if it's anything, right? Wire clip, right or left hand on that. Not much hardware, right? Just this and this. I think it's ceramic bearings. And the, this was a special bonus um, because uh, they included the knife with the box can you believe it yeah so you buy the box and they actually include the knife so lucky okay but some of their i opened it up because when it usually says special bonus it's like they they have like a a titanium lanyard bead or something in there but wrong and this, yeah, might need to loosen that up a little bit to get that to just drop a little bit better. And I know we will take this apart. You know what? That's a number six, isn't it? Yikes. Number six? You're going to number six pivot. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, baby, and they got that, don't they? they oh, no wonder. Wow, what a difference. Yikes. What a difference a day makes. Ah, uh, yeah. Whew. Okay, yeah, well, somebody got gruesome on this and just jacked this baby down hard. Well, bust my bearings. Yeah, this is much better. Okay, come here. Get all your act together. Oh, by the way, yeah, they actually give you paperwork that talks about it's a frame lock. It's Bowler N690. Get over it. Titanium. Yes. 2.6 ounces as a titanium frame lock folder with a three and a half inch blade. Almost eight inches overall length. Yep. And yes, in Russian it says, why are you trying to read this? Okay. Um, get out of here. So what do you think? Ergos are great, straightforward. This is a beautiful design. Oh, Staffel. I mean, what a great guy. What a good designer. And real steel can make a knife, right? So, but then I got this. Okay, okay now this is where I'm going to like blow up the whole pot, right? Because I got it. And it's like 145, okay? 145. And then I go, 145? Hold on. Didn't I just do something on the G-Frame recently? White Mountain had an exclusive, right? They got a G-Frame. Well, see, this is supposed to be like $200, but this is their special price, and they you can still get them. They got S35. It's, it's this knife with S35 VN blade for $109.99. Now... What this is actually going to sell for when it's not on the real steel site and it just goes to dealers, I don't know what that price is actually going to be. But still, this all of a sudden is starting to look like a hell of a bargain. Okay, now here's pause and read pages for you if you want to pause and read. Okay, all right, and next, give you this. Get with it, okay? 
and you can add it to your card if you want to buy it off their site that's fine and this 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 it's really um i really like the the g frame i like the g slip too did you get that indiana knives one exclusive they had it with micarta and stuff but this is this is cool i think that was vg10 on that one but this is bowler n690 which i'm fine with it's pretty much the same formula no that's k110 690 it's you know it's high chromium though so it's pretty corrosion resistant and you know a lot of n690 gets used in kitchen cutlery as well as like vg10 and stuff like that but okay but this is open design i mean open design and i guess i'm gonna say that's for a lanyard right but you got a wire clip on here It'll slip in and out of the pocket just fine, but it's pretty light. Weren't they saying 2.6 ounces? So let's kick it on here and see. Bingo. Bingo. Yeah, sure. 74 grams. Okay. They weren't lying. And it's almost 8 inches overall length. And for all practical purposes, it's a 3.5 inch blade at 90 millimeters. See what I'm saying? So, not 8. Uh, it's a 7.8 at uh, 20 centimeters. But, I mean, that's 3.5 inch blade. Isn't that crazy? Uh, that's a lot of blade and no more overall length. And you got 10 mil, 0.39. That's slender. And, ooh, 0.09, 2.3 millimeter blade stock. Hold on, did I get that in the fatty place? Let me measure right there where it's before that grind starts. I would have thought it was three. No, it is 2.4 millimeter. Wow. So that that's interesting. Oh, baby. Yeah, it's thin and slicey, isn't it? Oh, baby. Yeah, that's good. Okay, okay. Never mind. Never mind. No, I don't mind this, but I don't want to pay more for N690 than for S35. Although, Justin, he's selling them at what he wants to sell them for. And so all I got to say is you need to buy you one of them S35 exclusives before they run out. When they're out and regular dealers get these in stock then you'll see what the map the minimum advertised price will be on these and then you can go from there with your discount code and and like i'm saying that's 109 right ltk is your discount code for another 10 percent off it's gonna be under 100 bucks right <sighs> okay but like i'm saying the knife it's this is about the knife and uh and it's about money too, my friends, but it's about the knife. And this this is a good little lightweight carry. Um, and and really the the design flow, check it out. I mean, just the blade disappears in the handle. Let me let me get this out here. Obviously, you can't finger flick that with that little cutaway. Um yeah, that's good for blade to handle, but that's a nice design. It, you know, he just does a great job with the design regardless. And then Ergos, I mean, can it be any more straightforward? Okay. So, uh, there's just, um, he did, he, and he's done a bunch of front flippers, right? Right? You know the real steel front flippers that he's done. So, I mean, he has done so many. And, of course, the little fixed blade. Not only the Kiridashi, but, you know, neck knives, etc. So, and, you know, check out his Facebook and stuff. Because you can order a custom knife, knuck, whatever from him as well. So, there's always that option. But this... Uh, I think it's way cool, and you got this little breakaway area here, so when you go to sharpen it, strop it, you're good clear there. I like this fuller thing, but you're not going to be able to flick it from the fuller. You know, you can't get your finger in there. But wow, snap. Yeah. 
That there is snappy, my friend. So, shall we took it apart? Let's do it from the back, back, back. Well, let's... Eh, shit, I don't know now. I don't, oh, crap. I can't do a number eight. Number six on this. Okay, well, I started off with this adjusting, etc. So, let's see where I am. And see, that front's not turning. So, let's see where we are. That, that's a legit screw there. And then this will be taking the pocket clip off as well. But, okay. And that should be it, you know. And then the whole damn thing's going to come apart in my hand just like that. Boom. Is that easy? You think you can uh, figure it out? I mean, you can clean it up and it, it, this ain't much, okay. There's your ceramic bearings. And there's your little pivot. And, oh, there's a little flat spot right there. Where does that hit? Aha. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, and then there's a little... Okay, then there is a little steel washer because it's titanium. And there's your collectible number. You just put that on their site and you win. I'm just kidding you. You don't get shit. Okay, and what's this? Okay, this is good. And, of course, there's another little washer in there, etc. So we all good. I mean, was that tough? So now we got everything scattered across the table, but I don't care. I don't care. Now, but this little flat spot there. Okay, so that, when that comes through, i got to put my washer on here. Put some bearings on here. And one and a half gallons, I think, of Mazzola oil. Okay, just kidding. And what do we get there? Okay, so we're going to, okay, going to line that up at some point in time here. At some point in time. Now, oh, I st still got my little lanyard uh, dauber hanging there. Okay, there you go. Okay, now this and another 1.5 gallons and uh, I might as well throw this on top since I'm being obnoxious and let's do this let's make sure I can get Mr. Flat Spot in the right spot okay I did I did bingo see that Flat spot is in the right spot, and here is this. You know what? And I think this... Okay, it's a different size. Okay, so you'll know. Okay. Big damn daddy is right there. Okay, now... Oh, we're going to put in a pocket clip back here okay and maybe I should have put that in there first you know what I'm saying uh let's do that okay get you ass in here well that probably doesn't matter but that doesn't matter either okay okay now I'm sure that was a half-ass way to do it, but it works, so I don't care. Laugh. Laugh all you want. But it worked, okay? Pocket clip down. Are we centered? Hell no. I probably didn't get this thing jacked down right. No, I didn't. Okay. I need a little bit more gusto from here. Okay. Now are we? Yeah, we are now. Now... I see, but I got it too, too much now. So a little fine tuning here. Yeah, I needed to. Okay. Yeah, we're okay. Okay. Whew. Ooh, baby. We got goop all over your blade. Now, let me see.
Okay, now. Now it's dropping. Now, we got any issues? Nope. We all good. Okay, so the G-frame, right? And it, this is not the White Mountain exclusive. This is going to go to general and a sundry whatever retailers. But it's the frame lock one, right? So it's not the slip. But, you know, slip or not, whichever you prefer, isn't it? That's just a great design. It's just so easy to handle, so lightweight, and lots of blade. And just the right kind of design you know piercing slicing flat grind just just good and slender slender in the pocket i mean i guess the biggest gripe here is this would be nice as a liner lock because then you could do g10 on both sides you know and so this you're right i mean the titanium here in this case not the most you know grippy but this is it's still, yeah, I feel like I got pretty good purchase on it. So, okay, but I, I, but I do get that. Take care, my friends. We love them knives. You guys, stay sharp.